What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. So today we're going to talk about persevering through the negativity. Because a lot of times people don't completely evolve into the person God called them to be because of what everybody is saying. Because when you're on the right path that the Heavenly Father has ordained for you to be on, the enemy will try to discourage you in order to keep you from stepping into your purpose. Sometimes the enemy will try to get into the hearts of people that know you and try to cause them to bring up your past and speak negatively towards you, trying to make you feel like it's impossible for you to do the will of God. Because they feel like they know your background. They feel like they know your history. But that's why we're born again through Lord Jesus, because he gave us a new identity. That's why today I want to talk about why it's so important to persevere through the negativity and why trusting Lord Jesus in the middle of the storm will impact your life in a positive way. Because the words say, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. When the Heavenly Father first said, now it's time for you to answer the call that I have over your life and I spread the gospel, I was nervous. But I did it anyway because I knew that the Heavenly Father would be with me. So to make a long story short, I started dropping videos about the gospel when I only had 25 subscribers. Over the course of time, I eventually gained 100 subscribers. Now, mind you, not that many people was looking at the videos at that time. I might only get probably like 25 views for a video. But the moment I gained 100 subscribers, there was this one guy that used to always leave a negative comment under my post. Every time I dropped a post, he would leave a negative comment. So instead of responding in a negative way, I did something different. I said, I love you. And I pray that one day these videos help you in some way. See, that's when I knew I was growing in spirit. That's when I knew that the Heavenly Father was working on me and he heard my prayer. Moral of the story, don't let negativity stop you from answering the call of God. See, if I would have gave in to the pressure that was coming from the negativity from people back then, when I only had 100 subscribers, I wouldn't have been prepared for how God would use me in the future. And if I would have allowed people to cause me to give up on my purpose, I wouldn't have never known how God would use me to reach this many people. And I'm happy to say that y'all are now family. We are a family. We are a part of the body of Christ. We stand together in faith with the confidence that we have in Lord Jesus. See, the words say many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. So whatever you're going through, just know by our faith in Lord Jesus, the Heavenly Father will deliver us out of the hands of the enemy and he will bless us in the land of our afflictions when we continue to trust him. Sometimes the Heavenly Father will bless you in front of the enemy just so we can glorify his name in a mighty way. See, sometimes the stuff we go through in life is only meant to push us toward our destiny. But if we allow negativity to stop us from answering the call of God, how can the Heavenly Father use us? How can we do the Heavenly Father will? Because this path of righteousness will accumulate enemies along the way. That's just the way of life. But if we continue to remain faithful under pressure, that's what moves the hand of God. That's how he can use you in a mighty way. Don't let the enemy get in between you and the Heavenly Father's relationship. Because to have a relationship with the Heavenly Father by having faith in Lord Jesus, is a never ending blessing. See, when the enemy sees that you have a great calling over your life, that you are the chosen of God, he will try to stop you before the mission ever began. And that's why I said sometimes people don't fully evolve into the person that God called them to be. A lot of times that comes from fear. But God didn't give us the spirit of fear. The Heavenly Father wants us to be courageous. And don't get me wrong, it might be times that you are nervous. But what the Heavenly Father say in the word, fear not. He will hold you by his righteous right hand. He will lead you. He will guide you. 
He will be your protection. Especially if he tell us to go in a hostile environment to be a light in a dark place. I never seen the Heavenly Father lose a battle to those who trust him, to those who have faith in Lord Jesus. So we got to push through adversity. We got to glorify the Heavenly Father name with complete faith. Don't allow the enemy to cause you to waver because things might not be looking safe. See, our safety is in the hands of Lord Jesus. He went up on that cross. It's because of his sacrifice why we get to obtain salvation. So when we stand on the word of God, how can the enemy move us? See, when the enemy came to tempt Lord Jesus after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, what Lord Jesus do? Stood on the word of God. He responded to him, man shall not live off of bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And he continued to overcome the enemy with the word of God. That's what Lord Jesus is in our life. He is the completion of the word of God. He is the completion of God's will. He is the completion of God's plan. He is the completion of everlasting life. He is the completion of everything that the Heavenly Father stands for. Lord Jesus is the completion of the purpose that God has over our life. That's why the words say he's the way, the truth, and life. When you follow his ways, you don't become lost. He's leading you on the narrow way that leads to life. And the purpose that the Heavenly Father has over our life is to overcome sin through Lord Jesus so that we may obtain eternal life. And it's only given to those who love Lord Jesus and believe. So when we put our trust in Lord Jesus, that's how we overcome the storms that we must face in our life. And although we are not perfect, through Lord Jesus, we are called back to the righteousness of God. He is the perfection. And because of him, we are pleasant in the sight of God. That's why faith is the only way to please the one and true living God. That's our heavenly father. So today I want to let you know, don't let the negativity that comes from the devil nor people stop you from doing the will of God. Because when you push through adversity and you endure the stuff that you must go through, it's your faithfulness that pleases the Heavenly Father. And that's the very thing that will transform your life for the better. So keep going. Don't give up no matter what. Because God is proud of you. Remain faithful under pressure. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen. And oh, yeah, persevere through the negativity.